luckily but surely I was able to to to, <clears throat> to, to, to capture a ninth round knockout over Mr. Corey Space good going to his hometown. Now going to his hometown wasn't such an easy thing, you know what I'm saying? I had people was calling my hotels. People, <clears throat> people was calling my hotel room saying all kind of threatening things to me and you better not win and we're gonna do this to you and do that to you. So I was under a lot of fire and a lot of heat and a lot of, you know, my back was against the wall. But luckily, you know what I'm saying, with the will of my skills and the will of God, I was able to pull out a ninth round knockout. So in boxing, that was probably like one of the the biggest obstacles that I had to come. And I became the undisputed welterweight champion in the world behind that. Uh, that I had in um, he, he figured out a way to bring it out. Um, he brought it out of me uh, in my high school days. He prepared me, helped prepare me for my co for college. Um, as far as knowing how to train, uh, what to eat, how to schedule, how to manage my time, and and, and uh, things like that that's going to help me, you know, be able to be a good college, a great college student, as well as uh, being able to manage uh, the off court things that I. I that I need to do to be a successful basketball player. So my high school coach, he was one of, uh, also one of the first ones that uh, uh, really showed me how to maneuver, uh, maneuver and be a bet be become better around the basket. Um, he put me to work. Uh, my mother, him, my, my mother actually uh, Gave him the green light to punish me anytime, you know, I would, <laughs> I would, I would act out of line. So, you know, it was. Um... Whenever you're ready, good sir, the floor is yours. Uh, Got to switch gears. Uh, uh, well, in my head, sometimes I think things, but uh, in my head, sometimes I think things. Uh, I was listening to Eric and. Uh, Change my answer. You know, my grandmaster is Guru Dan Enosano. That was Bruce Lee's best friend. And the person who continued Bruce Lee's legacy after Bruce passed away. And um, I've always wanted to spend time with him. He just turned 88 this week. Wow. And more than... I, I get to see him and do martial arts with him, and that is the greatest gift. It's humbling. It's amazing. And uh, I don't think that he feels that he moves as well as he used to. Uh, but the second day, I saw him a month ago for two days. The second day, he was trying to explain something, and we weren't getting it. So we got excited. And it's amazing. It's amazing. At moments when the when the uh, the like the wick of inspiration is lit and he goes, don't care how long you've been training, everybody in the room was like, "Did you see what just happened? You could show me that." Uh, and it and it's amazing. <laughs> you know, I would I would I would say uh, God like why why the variance in values why do we all think so differently that, and we all think we're right and we're so far off from each other that uh it's a constant struggle to even get along with ourselves and um you know why why is why is there uh so much uh, hate is it is it about do we live is it is it about competition and being the progressive and getting ahead and, and being the early bird to get the worm and getting that shot before someone else gets it or is it about community um togetherness moving in in, in a in a hopefully same direction uh in, in a bigger much more positive kind of kind of movement and uh and and i would just want to uh ask that and and, and i get a little more personal i'd say you know why is it that uh when we look at everyone else we think that we're above them and we all do because we think that our values are the best everybody thinks that 